Doyle challenge. Look at that. There he is. His little stinky butt. We just went on a walk. Well, hello, and welcome back to Vlogtober day six. Uh, today is laundry day. I have my laundry going back there. I just got home from work, so I only have a load in the wash right now, but I'll be switching that out soon. I would normally do it while I'm folding laundry, but I'm losing my light because it is October in Minnesota and it gets super dark super fast because it's like 6.46 and yeah, that's just how it goes. So anyways, um, I asked you guys for questions on my latest YouTube video as well as some other social media places. So I'm not gonna answer every single question because then this video would be like three hours long because so it's just a little, a little intense. But I figured I would take three or four questions from different social medias and answer them. I don't know. So I just figured I would just do it and we'll see how it goes. And if it's weird and editing, I'll just edit it. Huh. So the first question I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask uh, YouTube questions is what I'm gonna do first. So, um, first question, it says, are you concerned with being a new hire already and missing two days of work or does your company allow for sick time slash days? Well, to be honest, I was sick. So there's really nothing that I could have done about it. And to be completely honest, uh, it was kind of flu-like symptoms. So if you want to just envision everything coming out of my body in different ways, um, I wasn't able to make the commute because of that and then also I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't have wanted me around so um, I told them what was happening and what was going on and I'm like I don't know if I ate something bad or if it's like flu like things and um, I wasn't feverish and I didn't have sweats or anything like that and my body felt okay so I didn't get like that aching feeling but I definitely had like things so I had some sort of bug I don't know what it was but anyways um, I'm not really concerned about it because to be honest they wouldn't have wanted me there anyway they would have been like get away don't infect the office um, and when I got back they were like thank you for not coming in like literally everybody was like thank you for not coming in and pushing it I'm like no problem so no I'm not really that concerned about it and I was back for Thursday, Friday, and no one said anything besides thank you for not coming in and infecting the rest of us. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Um, someone else asks, how did my folks meet? So my mom and dad actually met at a party, and I think my dad had just gotten back from Vietnam and my mom was, I don't think she was living on campus, but she was going to the University of Minnesota at the time. And funny story about that is my mom and dad met each other and my mom, I think she was like trying to wear contacts and it wasn't working. This is back in the day when like there was hard contacts, not like the nice soft contacts that I'm wearing today. And they didn't I think if memory serves me right, she was having some issues with her eyes and she couldn't actually see him when she met him. So anyways, um, but yeah, that's how they met. So how they got from there to married is beyond me, I don't know. This is a really good question because today was budget day. Um, someone asked, how do you think we will see the budget change from now on due to you no longer showing your income? Do you feel like you will get the same view slash feedback, etc.? Um, so how it's changing is if you look back at yesterday's video, which is today's video because I upload these the next day, um, you will see exactly how it changed. Really, I'm still showing my outgo, so like all of my bills or different things that are happening in my month as to it coming out of my budget, but I'm just not showing you my incoming. And I've had several comments of it's illegal for a company to ask you not to share your income well you know what the way that it was phrased and i think this was like my bad of not explaining it properly to you guys is to like i think i think it says something to the effect of like to maintain a you know positive work environment or something like don't quote me verbatim but like this is something that it said we frown upon sharing our income with other members of the staff so to me that means i'm not going to share my income anymore just that's that's it. So regardless if it's illegal for them to ask me to do it or not, 
it doesn't matter they didn't ask me to do it it just says like they suggest not to do it and most companies will do that and it's pretty crass to talk about your income to begin with this is just like a fun thing that I like to do on YouTube YouTube does not financially support me whatsoever I don't even take a profit off of my income by the way on YouTube so bottom line I'm not gonna share my income anymore it's just gonna be the way it is especially when I'm working at this new company so you know I don't want to be like rude about it or anything but if you don't like that then you don't have to watch the budget videos and you don't have to watch any of my videos to be completely honest appreciate every single one of you but if that's gonna really turn you off that badly then maybe it's time to find somebody else that does the budgets in the way that you want them to do them so um, but I have to do what's right for me and I have to support myself and my household and all of that stuff too I'm not gonna compromise it for a silly little YouTube video that goes up once a month so it's just it's just not gonna work out so I just wanted to address that here and sorry if that's being kind of rude and disrespectful but that I'm really holding back right now <laughs> so I hope you guys understand that it's just I understand the frustration but I've got to be authentic to me and that's the bottom line I am literally sitting in a room right now talking to a black box in front of a window and that is what I'm doing and I like to do these videos for myself and I also like to do these videos for you guys too so I would be happy producing these videos if only one person watched or my mom just watched and that's okay too so I just really want to stress that my channel is my channel and I want to do things that I want to do and I want to do things that I want to see I love your feedback however I feel like some of the comments recently and it's not about the budgeting video, this is like other stuff. Um, a lot of the comments recently, I mean, most of them are good. Like the majority of the percentage are good and no one's nasty in the comments and all that. So that's amazing. So thank you guys if you comment. But I feel like some of them are super snarky nowadays and kind of rude. The way I like to view comments is if I wouldn't say to somebody's face, I would never think of typing it. And I just find it kind of strange that someone would literally watch an entire like 20 or 30 minute video because they're referencing something at like minute 25 or whatever and then be mad that they watched the entire video. I'm like, what What did you think was happening? Like fast forward it or click out. No one's forcing you to watch this stuff. I don't know. I just find it kind of hilarious to be completely honest and I see other people's videos because I watch a ton of YouTube um, but I see other people's videos and people saying weird things like that I'm like why didn't you just click out like I don't understand it but anyway okay so that's gonna be it for the YouTube questions let's go on the Instagrams and uh, do that so let's see here and I actually prepped a question I don't normally do that but I did prep a question so I'll do that question last because you know suspense and all all right so somebody says what's your favorite nail polish um if you're saying like a brand I would probably say Essie I really like Essie if you're talking about a color I would say like like a mauvey pink mauvey nude color I'm not wearing anything on my fingers right now I gotta do that um and she also writes do you want kids absolutely not um, and then also her last question is what would your advice be for a 22 year old financially? Um, be smart with your money and make good choices invest in your Retirement now today. You're never gonna regret doing that get on a budget get on a budget All right, here's another funny question This gal has a whole list of questions. So I'm just gonna kind of like rapid-fire it. When is your couch coming? It's Actually coming on Thursday or Friday of next week so you guys will see it in the vlogs and she said did your last major migraine happen when you were deciding to change jobs and then she wrote stress played a part question mark um, yes kind of and no kind of but more than anything yes and she also writes if you ever found the man to marry would you want a prenup and she says I have one no shame in my game and then she also says, Emily's Hot Mess Society, where can I join and do we get t-shirts? <laughs> um, let's see, if I found somebody to marry, would I want to get a prenup? I don't know, I think it would depend on the situation. Say if I had a net worth of like over a million dollars and the person that I decided to marry 
um, was in debt or something, maybe. Um, but like if I married somebody that had a ton of assets and ran several companies that were very successful um, and had partners and things like that, I would almost want a prenup for me um, because if this didn't work out, I wouldn't want that individual to feel like I'm gonna take half of everything because it doesn't need to be like that. I, I don't know. I would almost offer at that point because if you've got partners and other things involved, like I don't, uh, that makes me uncomfortable. But um, I don't know, the idea of marriage maybe someday, I don't really know if I wanna get married to be completely honest because I haven't found that, so. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Oh, this is an easy question. What are your thoughts looking back at your first Plan With Me videos? Um, I think, what the hell is my problem? Someone also asked, do you have a specific skincare routine that you stick to? Your skin is beautiful. Well, thank you, but um, no. I need to get more into my skincare routine, like at least my nightly routine. Um, I've really been slacking, and what I mean really been slacking, like I've been slacking for like months and months and months and months and it's bad so I need to like get back into like doing masks and just doing a bunch of other things so I, I need to do that all right next question hey Emily and Doyle hey Doyle this question's for you you're gonna come over here do you guys see him right there that's his body right there hey come here buddy come here here he comes oh my gosh Hi, do. She asks, what is your, Doyle's, what's your favorite toy? Um, I think it would have to be the newspaper, but to be honest, it's just really whatever floats his boat that day. And then does, do you, slash does he have a favorite activity when you got, when you two are being together? Basically this, it's hard to see, cause it's like down low. Let's see, let's see if we can get him on camera. Hold on, let's, let's tip it a little bit hi doodle oh my gosh this is his favorite activity this is it right here just just giving the pets giving the loves hi okay you can go now bye see you later doyle don't smell your butt you're on camera get out of here the butt smeller is right there stinky butt. Another good question, did I have any pets growing up? No, Doyle is the first animal I have ever had. So here is my prepped question. The question is, since it's Vlogtober, what was your favorite Halloween costume that you wore growing up? And then Jody from Life's Organized Chaos says, bonus points for including pictures. So, I've got some pictures. All right, so this is me probably circa kindergarten maybe. Here we go. That is uh, me in a unicorn outfit, and that was my favorite one. So there you go. Um, all right, so let's go to Facebook real quick because my battery is dying. I'll just answer a couple on Facebook and then we're gonna close this bad boy out. Question, what has been the biggest challenge changing jobs? Really just learning the computer system, to be honest. How is the couch hunt coming along? It's going great because my sofa is getting delivered on either Thursday or Friday of next week. So you guys will see that coming up soon. Any strange emails or encounters with your fans? Yes, that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> all right, this is what I'll stop with. Uh, what is your advice for someone who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel? Just do it, just start filming. Um, you're not gonna get a bunch of people that subscribe overnight. You're not gonna get a bunch of people that comment overnight. Just be you, be authentic to you, do what you like to watch, and also uh, ask for suggestions if you want suggestions from your viewers, and just be you, just do it, just start filming. I look back, I haven't looked back at my old stuff in a long, long time, but sometimes it comes up in my suggested feed, which is weird. Um, but sometimes I see those video thumbnails and I just cringe and go, oh my gosh. But then I've learned so much. So uh, I don't really mind the progress. And then you have like a digital timestamp of who you were and what you were doing at that point in your life. So um, just do it. Just literally do it. Uh, practice editing, practice filming, practice talking to a little black box in an empty room like I am right now, and you know, treating these people like they're your friends because you guys are my internet friends, so just do it. Oh, I almost forgot, I have another question. Hold on, I thought this was so funny. All right, the former Mrs. Jones, Christy says, what kind of shoes are you wearing right now? As you answer this question, I'm wearing no shoes right now. 
What is your preferred everyday footwear? Tennis shoes, because I like to be comfortable, or just like flat, like ballerina shoes from J. Crew. She said, do you wear shoes inside of the house normally? If so, what kind? Not really. And then I love asking random questions. It makes you talk about things that you wouldn't otherwise. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Very, very true. Uh, fun fact, I don't like having bare feet ever. So I actually wear socks all the time. And I know that's weird to a lot of you guys, but I wear socks to sleep as well. So fun fact about the feet thing. And I just, ugh. I don't like sandals. Um, it just isn't my thing. So Doyle and I are gonna go. He hates being held, obviously. Um, but anyways, I am gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching the Q&A. I will be doing another Q&A next Friday, which will be up on next Saturday for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will get back to you guys. And um, yeah. That's it. You're gonna, you're gonna give it a paw up. Give it a paw up if you liked it. Yeah. And then um, you guys can also subscribe if you want to. Um, I will be vlogging every day in the month of October. So come on back if you'd like. All right, you're gonna say goodbye to your friends? You're gonna say bye to your friends? Oh, bye guys. Bye guys, bye guys, I'll see you later. All right, we'll see you later. Bye guys.